Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Aquarius. Uh, what are your blocks and challenges in finding love? Uh, this is going to be for March 2022. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, so we're going to take a look at what your blocks and challenges are, and then we'll finish off the read to see how you could overcome these blocks and challenges, okay? Um, so if you're free to apply this to your own unique situation, uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Um, see if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh when my new videos post uh give this video a thumbs up like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this and uh leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Be careful of scammers, of impersonators that are impersonating me on Instagram. That's not me. Keep in mind I would never reach out to you for a personal reading or for money on Instagram. The only time I'm reaching out to anyone is, is if someone books a private personal reading with me and I'm emailing you personally to confirm payment, date, time, platform being used for the reading, okay? I only have two Instagram pages. One is listed in the description box below, and the other one is my dog. Um, so Aquarius, let's get started. What messages do we have for Aquarius? What are Aquarius's blocks and challenges in finding love? What are Aquarius's blocks and challenges in finding love? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for March 2022. Right, we have the Two of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Hmm. You could already be dealing with someone new, okay? And I feel like you're trying to figure out whether you want to invest in this person or not. You know, you could be an individual who's very indecisive, okay? So I feel like you're trying to figure that out. You know, whether you want to put your efforts into this you know, whether you're, you know, wasting your time or you're wasting your, the other person's time. Um, but I see, it seems like there's someone here that has feelings for someone. There's attraction here. There's emotions. Uh, keep in mind, these self-help readings are not really meant to be cross-watched. But like I said, um, you could do whatever you want to this reading. Apply this to your own unique situation. Okay. Four of Pentacles in Strength cards. So there's an energy of definitely holding back here, okay? <clears throat> yeah, maybe you just have a hard time making a decision. Or, or, or that, you know, you, you could be in this energy of, you know, just worried. Worried that you, not, you don't have anything to give, okay? Uh, you know, there could be some sort of insecurities here, Aquarius. Uh, energies we have here so far, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be dealing with any of those energies, past, present, or future. You can have those energies in your chart. Uh, two of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Injustice. Libra energy. Yeah. I, I, so Aquarius, I feel like you could be dealing with someone new. And I feel like you're trying to make a decision here. Okay, so it, it, it's, it seems like, you're, you know, there's an energy of like, you know, whether you want to give to this or not. You know, tell me about the Queen of Wands. Libra energy with the Justice card. Queen of Wands, Six of Cups. Oh, there is someone new here. And I feel like this person that's new has a very, very strong soul tie here with you. This could be a past life soulmate. Okay, or you could have a soul contract with this individual here. Seven of Pentacles. You have the Hermit here, Virgo energy. Could be dealing with the Virgo. Let's get two more. Four of Pentacles. Wow. Hey, so uh, Aquarius, I feel like you met new love here, but I feel like you might be ha having a hard time whether to go fully to commit to this or not. Uh, the Strength card. With a wheel of fortune, it seems like this is like a karmic thing, or that this could be a past life soulmate, or that this could be a soul contract. 
I feel like there is a very intense connection between you two. And maybe that's causing some fears. Maybe that's causing someone here to withdraw. Let's see what else we have here. You know, I feel like you fear wasting your time or wasting someone else's time, okay? So you could have gone through experiences in the past where you felt like you were wasting your time or your time was wasted or, you know, and I feel like you don't want to repeat a repeat of that. Uh, how can uh, Aquarius overcome these blockages and challenges? How can Aquarius overcome these blockages and challenges? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for March 2022. All right, we have the Three of Swords and the uh, Temperance card. So I feel like you are doing the right thing, okay, by being cautious. I feel like you are being cautious. Uh, perhaps you've been hurt in the past and, you know, you're healing from it or that you're continuing to heal from this. Uh, Sagittarius Energy with Temperance. And then we have the King of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Okay, there is someone here. Whoever this is, this per person is seeing you as wish fulfillment, uh, Aquarius, okay? And then we have the Four of Wands and the Nine of Swords. I mean, I don't more, I don't, I don't, yeah, there are two energies here. I don't know where you fit in this, but I feel like the person that's having a hard time making a decision is this queen. And I feel like being in a relationship might be stressing someone out a lot, okay? Three of Swords. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I do feel like there's one person here. This queen is working really hard on overcoming uh, the pain that this queen has been through in the past. Temperance. We have the High Priestess. Cancer Pisces energy. King of Wands. The Devil. Ooh. Aquarius, just so you know, whoever this new person is, this person's completely obsessed with you, okay? Um, I feel like in a healthy way, maybe. Uh, I don't feel like this person's a very codependent person. I do feel like this is an individual who's well-rounded, who has their shit together, okay? But I feel like it's an obsession where this person might want to bonk you or something like that. Because this person finds you really, really attractive, okay? Nine of Cups. We have the Emperor here, Aries energy. Yeah, this is a very mature individual. Not really getting a really bad vibe from this individual, but I feel like maybe, you know, your, um, just the experience that you had with people in the past, this is someone here that you don't really trust. Yeah. So like I said, I feel like you could be very cautious. Four of Wands, Page of Cups. Nine of Swords and the Knight of Pents. Yeah, this is, I, I'm not really getting a really, really negative vibe from this devil and this emperor here or this king of wands. It's so more so that this person is just incredibly obsessed with you. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. Some of you is definitely like looking for commitment. Yeah, but you could be viewing this person that way. You could be viewing this person as a devil. You could be viewing this person as toxic because of your prior experiences that you're currently healing from right now, okay? Uh, Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you're trying to take it slow. Yeah, I just feel like you just need more time to get to know this person. You need more time to work on yourself here, okay? Uh, yeah, um, not getting a bad, bad vibe from the, typically, you know, when we do see, you know, the emperor, the devil, you know, it could be a representation of narcissism, but I'm not really getting that from this energy here. Yeah, it's more like, hey, oh my god, Aquarius is like incredibly sexy. I really want to bonk, uh, you know, Aquarius. So let's see, what else do we have for Aquarius here? Oh, sorry, that was loud. No, we saw justice, no. So this could be a same-sex relationship. Doesn't have to be, but just, you know, apply this to your own unique situation. Release radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So there is something that you're holding on to still. Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, some pain, uh, some trauma that you've experienced in the past year. Okay, so we have denial. Detach with love and clearly see the truth. You know, I feel like you are doing that. 
you know, it's just maybe taking you some time, which is okay. Uh, everyone's on their own timeline here. There is no rush. Uh, you know, you could go as fast or as slow as you want. Let's see. We have happily ever after. You're stepping into happily ever after, a future filled with so much joy and personal fulfillment. Yeah, this is going to be a very transformative connection, relationship. That's if you allow it. But, you know, at the end of the day, you have to do what's comfortable for you. And I just, you know, being, you know, skittish, I, I feel like that's normal, especially if anyone, I mean, if anyone has been through any sort of heartbreak. Yeah. I mean, let's see. One more. We have listened to your intuition. Yeah, it's up to you. But I feel like this new person, there is going to be like a lot of growth here. There will be a lot of growth here. Okay. So like I said, this is up to you. Um, you know, you do have free will. Uh, you know, you have to do what's comfortable for you, do what's right for you. I mean, you could continue on this healing path and, and perhaps, you know, kind of take things slow with this individual, which I feel like you're doing. You know, keep in mind, not that you can't have a healthy relationship with all your baggage. You absolutely can. But you better be tending to that baggage consistently so that you're not dumping your baggage on others, which I feel like you're doing here, Aquarius, which is the right thing to do. Okay, so Aquarius, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.